Hello everybody and welcome to a tour video of Jurassic World Evolution where today I'm visiting one of my old... What? Oh. Wow. Well, well, he's dead. One, one of my old parks. We'll just... We'll just ignore that because he's dead. Well, we'll look at these guys. So, let's begin the tour with the, well, the start. This is from my Clear Sanctuary DLC, which I got in October? Yeah, it was Octo mid-October. And I turned it, a few months after playing this, I decided to turn it into a fancy part instead of a huge mess that it once was. What? You'll have Let's start at the beginning, shall we? So, we start off at the monorail. And of course, if you played this game, you know that for Claire Sanctuary, you get to save eight dinosaurs, plus you get four bonus dinosaurs. Those bonus ones being of T-Rex, Velociraptor, Polycanthus, and Kentrosaurus. Yeah, it's Kentrosaurus. I was going to say Wyangosaurus, but no. Sorry guys, I haven't played this in a while. I've taken a break. So, oh. after getting off the monorail, you just um, will take a turn right, and then another to the left, where you go basically on the main street, which is where our first enclosure is, which, just to be clear, is my favorite. So we're not going to look at that one first. We will go around to the our, one of our three carnivores, which was a... Um, I think underrated addition for most people. Many people originally thought it would be in the game before it eventually came. And what I'm talking about, of course, is the Albertus. Yes, Stego, we'll get to you in a second. I'm talking about Albertosaurus. Who are in the middle of fighting. Now, th these are both Albert and Albini. I think the one running away is Albini. But these are the juniors, because, well, th their parents died of old age. Yes, I'm talking about you, man. Or, lady. Or, uh. Now, as you know, interestingly, this is a, one of two Tyrannosaurids. No, wait, sorry, three. Proceratosaurus is a Tyrannosaurus. People keep getting me confused on that. Oh, God. So they have a nice little river, well, not a river, a little pond, with some stony places so you can hide from them and not get spotted. Oh, let's get behind, beside it. Majestic creatures. And of course you have a viewing area. Alright. And... Speaking of this back area, you also get a nice lovely view of um, mini islands off of um, Sanctuary, which please watch out for the cliff kids again. I know the beach looks tempting, but the fall too, but the journey towards it could lead you to death because, um, well, it's straight down. But anyway, we also come to a little section of shops with a hotel and a power station that I don't think I needed. Now you can see that there's redwoods and that's because when I um, was turning it into the fancy park that I'm touring you right now, Return to Jurassic Park had just came out so I had literally noticed that the redwood trees were in for a free DLC and I think that was like the only free stuff and the bathrooms. But other than and I decided I just placed a bunch of them just because I wanted ah. to see them, and because I was working on this park. And as you can see, for our next stop is a Stegosaurus enclosure. But not only Stegosaurus, which it had to have redwood trees, guys. You know I couldn't resist it. We also have Kentrosaurus, which yes. And of course, the, uh, oh god, the one's tail's going nuts. Somebody help him. He's gonna, he's gonna kill them all. And the nice paleo feeder, of course. And a 
little river that loops around an island full of redwood trees. I love those stego calls. So, we shall continue on to the next enclosure, passing by your hotel residence. Please make arrangements with, uh, well, whoever the heck is in charge of that. That's not me. I'm the tour guide man today. And you can have your shops, uh, fast food, and all that stuff. Ah, yes, we have the Triceratops. With, an, with um, if you get on this path, you could see, watch them drink. And I don't, I think the other side has it too. I could be wrong. No, the other side has it too. Oh yeah, it's, no, it's not looped. It used to be, I remember what. And we got a little sleep. Hey, you're sleeping on the job, man. It's tour time. And they're just... Yeah, there's five. Right? But was, wasn't there a sixth one in here? Hello. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll find him later. But we need to get onto the little bit of a dangerous kind. After getting past security over here, you can come... No, you have to go this way. Follow the rules, Austin. And then you just go here. And you take a nice turn. You go up here. Oh, God. And then you get a view of a river. But wait, what is in it? Ah, yes. You guessed right. It is the Velociraptors, which... Sadly, um, just the, um, regular s basic s skins and stuff. I think it's alpine and, um, arid. Arid being the orange echo-like one. Looks like they're hunting for a pile of rotten meat. And those bones look creepy. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, God. First one arrives. Oh god, they're going to fight. So we're gonna have to leave them, guys. I'm sorry. Oh no, no, we're not in that section yet. So over here, as their neighbors, with a little secret alleyway which I made for in case there is a storm, and the, um, the, what's it called? Uh, the Jeeps. Jeeps, yes, the Jeeps. They can travel in between the enclosures much easier. And then, speaking of enclosures, here we have another Claire Sanctuary addition, Euopolis I think they're all coming for a drink, and that guy's um, feet are sliding a bit. Look, they're just... Yep, they're stopping for a drink. Alright guys, you can have your drinks, relax. And we, ha yeah, that's it. Now I remember I when I made this, I originally intended to have the other ankylosaurid that I had um, pull a canthus in here, but those guys were just very, very cranky. So we had to um, split them up. A tragedy, I know. Don't blame me. I didn't do it. Oh, we got a disease. So we're gonna have to pick this up. And since we are here, I guess I should show... Wait, where's this? Oh yes, we can do one more before this grand one. My favorite project. This is the Stiggy Moloch Little Stream area. Which houses a lot of the buggers. I think 12 or 14. How many do you got in here, buddy? I have... I have a... Uh, Fifteen. We had sixteen, but one died of old age. And they do move in herds. If I could play some music, I think it would be, um, um, the Great Valley. Minus the concrete building. Producing pollution! <gasps> oh, anyway. So, now that that is done. Oh god, going through trees. I can't see. Here is my 
favorite enclosure, which is a circular one, very satisfying, the Parasaurolophus and Oranosaurus, which there should be a lot more, but they're all in a family meeting right now. You, you understand. And I figured out one of the sticklings. It's in here. They're discussing how to get rid of the disease because I'm busy giving a tour. <laughs> Alright, we're going to kill the sicklings. Wait! That... Wait, that's me. Leave me alone. They spread it to the... Or they'll Ladies spread it to the... Oh, great, the weather. Hold on, guys. We gotta deal with the storm. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. We were, um, having a little bit of a storm. Make, had to make sure they were were not gonna break out. And it was actually the Stiggy Moons who were getting sick. Sniffing each other's behinds, I see. Not miscounting your number. Because there were 14 of you. And, um, two of you are having an argument in the corner. Glad to see it's being resolved, though. One's running away, scared of his mind. But anyway, let's continue on with the video. So, I... Oh, wait, no, I was at this enclosure, which is having a meeting of how to escape with the Oranosauruses. We've got... We've, oh, excuse me. We've got Brownie, Blue, Bluey, and, um, Veggie. You got any say to say, Veggie? Shut it. Fine. And the rest are just like, eh, yeah, screw it, I'm taking a break. So yes, this is the Oranosaurus and Parasaurolophus Paradise. Now, let's get on to the path with the towers that view. And Oh, no, you can't see that yet. That's the final part we get to. So you go back on the top. You get to go to the hotels and stuff. And I think something just um, croaked again. So we need to go uh, this way. Asset has been transported. We need to take the monorail. Oh god, the trees are glitching. So, let's hop onto this monorail. Monorail, monorail, monorail. Choo choo. And if you look above, below you, you can see another enclosure, if I can control this thing, which houses more Triceratops and more Aranosauruses. I think this was just one to fill in some space because I had no idea what to do because literally all my other dinosaurs were in their own enclosures and stuff, so I decided to make them this little one, mixing up the, um, sort of relationships. I don't know. And you come down, oh god, we, yeah, we, I couldn't get that. Oh well, you have a little bump in the road. And, uh, you go, not that way. Where? Oh no, th so this is basically a little stop where you get to see into this massive enclosure. Oh my god, those Brachiosaurus sound beautiful. Well, and cute. Cute as fudge. Who are, some, three of them are having a meeting. Probably Hammond Jr., Malcolm Jr., Hope, and, um, where's, um, Colossa? see. Well, Colossa. Log. Ah, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I know it means, um, long neck and the other one hello mister mm, I think th yeah that one's Claire who I don't know what it's doing we've got Gallimimus oh and the truck tour I think it's the only enclosure with a truck tour kind of weird when it came in this DLC and of course the Apatosaurus because we can't like, realistically, the one that you all knew was going to be in this park when I said it was for Claire's Sanctuary was this little guy. guy. Because we ain't repeating Fallen Kingdom's mistake and leaving that Brachiosaurus. Even though, realistically, it was confirmed by J.A. Bayona and I believe also Colin Trevorrow that um, two Brachiosaurus were saved and one was sold. 
So, in case you didn't know that, we still have a chance to see you in Jurassic World Dominion in 2022 now. But, for now, we must um, move on. So, Monorail will take you all the way here, where you will find the Pulacanthus that I spoke of. Well, three of them, because you can only have three in an enclosure, because they're picky little buggers. <laughs> yes, 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 you're picky. So, you have lovely things. I think that's a rainforest, so nice. And that gold on that green, that is awesome. Like, you guys are, some of these guys are so awesome. Just, dumb. Um, they're, they're picky little buggers. And you're a gold skin as well. But, guys, we have one more sinister creature. The queen of this channel, who's taking a nap. Excuse me, Rexy. It's not nap time. It's tour time. And now we must wait for this nose to get off this snout of a head to get up. And it's raining. Ah, there we go. Oh, God. Get out of the way. She's gonna kill us. Will she hunt for us? That is the question. So yeah guys, not too much to this island, mainly because of the fact that, well, there's only, you know, 12 species I can use for the whole part, and this island is actually really, really big, like, I have plenty of space left of this park is that I just didn't know what to use. And it's a five-star park as well. If I... Yeah, it's a five... Probably not right now because it's raining. Because people just don't know when to bring umbrellas. But guys, that is the tour. Tour of this park. Not the perfect tour that I would say. I think I jumped between a few places. But if we can, um... get an aerial view and a tree just finished before my eyes so yeah there it is guys not too shabby this was probably one of the first parts that I like went back to and um that I, like, I think, yeah, this was the first park I ever went back to and turned into a, um, what I consider a beauty. Like, there's mm -hmm. some things that I would change about it right now, like the shape of the brachiosaurus, like, well, the, this enclosure, this massive one, but I still really, really like it. It holds a spot in my, in my heart, because personally, if I were to rank the DLCs, I would say that um, Claire Sanctuary is my favorite because I just like what challenges it has over the other two. It fits its story. I just like what comes with this. Like, I love the, um, I forgot to mention, the Paleo Feeders, which, where are they? There's one. I, I love the addition of a Paleo Feeder because then it, just adds to that and oh my god why does it look so weird it's probably because I'm not close enough yeah there we go oh my god it just looks so weird but what do you guys think if I am um, I'll cut back to when I'm up here so guys if you've enjoyed this tour of a video leave a like and if you want to see more tours please um support this channel and stuff because I really want to um, do more videos like this as well as well anything that has to do with the Jurassic World Evolution and the reason fun oh right one thing I forgot to show we gotta if we can uh, god damn it one thing that's wrong with the capture mode is it's so slow but once you get there it it looks really nice so, first, we got to change the setting from nice and colorful to, um, dark and moody. 
myself. Hold on, guys. When I played this game... <coughs> okay, stop up. So when I played this game back in 2019, I re... Why, well, something about this. That each dinosaur that I was saving would be a unique one. Different from every other, because it would be the one that I chose. It would have a relationship with me. However, like all things, the relationship would come to an end. And sadly, the ending of this relationship would be in death. So to celebrate the, the lives of the amazing, beautiful cr creatures that we helped save to live their lives to their fullest, we created a memorial site for them. A, a ring with a lovely um, island stating the Nine. Now the reason why it says the Nine is because there was realistically nine you would say. While the game only says eight, the ninth would always be Rexy for me. Nublar Apato, which was an, the first Apatosaurus. While she was a pain in the butt, breaking out eight times when I first got her, her mainly because um, her siblings were taking a little bit of time in the incubator, they she still managed to shine and make this place a dream, a sanctuary, as it was intended. Minus them all being free, but, you know, we can't have it perfect. The next one beside her would be Nublar Pompadour. Pompadour, which of course is a nickname Robert, no, Roland Timbo, one of the best hunters in the entire world at the in 1997, nicknamed a Parasaurolophus. This Parasaurolophus it was. She had to leave her friends to come with us to start a life, carrying God knows how many children I've flown for her. Being a tr true um, horned faced uh, duck bill dinosaur, she quacked with the excitement of the journey. However, sadly, she did not get to see all of her children's lives fulfilled. A true, a true hero. The next one is a special one, Lego My Stego, which obviously is a stegosaurus if you couldn't guess that. Now, she was not like Lego. She didn't assemble into something grand. She was already grand before she before. She didn't need to be built, and she showed that to the world. Stiggy was a true hero. In Fallen Kingdom, he was, she was able to um, free some of the dinosaurs, and as well as an Indoraptor by accident, but we ignore that part, and also helped oh, and stop the um, selling of multiple dinosaurs. While we may see her again in Jurassic World Dominion, sadly she passed away, unable to go anymore in in Clare Sanctuary. But a hero she will always be known as. Of course in the center of all of them is Rexy, the queen of Nublar and now in Jurassic World Dominion will be the queen of the planet of the entire planet. A fierce predator with a kind heart to some. some. While some do not like her hero tendencies, she still could be a frightening predator nonetheless. And she showed that with her every breath, being one of the first of any dinosaurs cloned by Mr. Hammond. She, she rests here in peace. Oh god, this is emotional, guys. Trixie. Trixie was a beautiful triceratops. You like my Jeff Goldblum impression, guys? Just just go with it. Arrrr. Being a triple-horned threat to all that stood in her way, she was able to beat the other ceratopsium that was considered her 
the relocation of the Sinoceratops. And because of her bravery and willing to fight to the, to the end, she did. She w went to the end and saved her, her species. Another important relic who in Fallen Kingdom sadly one was not saved but Hope made it. Hope the Brachiosaurus made it to Sanctuary. She was saved by Claire and by and by saving her her species would, would still be a beauty to see for the world. I think that makes sense. Yep. Albert was a rather underestimated dinosaur. Being a member of the same family as Rexy, the Tyrannosaurids, Albert had a lot of pressure. However, living with a sibling named Albini, she, she was able to hold her own and become a true predator, breaking out a few times and costing me millions of, of dollars a few times, and once getting me in the red yeah the freaking red guys she got me there how is that po how is that possible but either way she was strong and she proved her stripes as a tyrannosaurid finally the one that we seen rexy first kill the chicken mimic themselves Grant the Gallimimus was able to outrun all her, all the battles, all the predators, and even a volcano. However, one race she did not, she did win was life. She ran, ran all the way through until her very last breath. Running for years and years, she ran into all of our hearts and won. But, sadly, all of these had a destiny to pass. But because of them, they were able to save all of their species. And even breathe life into other species. A true heroics for such majestic and misunderstood creatures. But anyway guys, what do you all think? Did you enjoy this video? If you did, leave in the likes in the comments down below. And also, if you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate the like. Be safe. If you want to join the hunt, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, and I'll see you later. Bye bye